How is a slow-witted YouTuber like myself going to trick a whole bunch of guitar players into watching a wireless mic demo? Well, I'm going to do it by taking us all on a guitar safari to a real music store. We're going to Earl Teat in Del Mar with Comica Mics together today, right here on Geargasm. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today I have with me from Comica Mic Company, the Comica CVM WM100 Plus. Now I'm only holding up this one body pack transmitter because I actually have the other one on. You're actually hearing me through the Comica Mic. They sent this to me for free, so of course that makes it a sponsored video and all the links will be in the description, of course. But this is a two-channel RF wireless microphone for content creators and for videographers it is a great little unit it'll work with your dslr it'll work with you with your smartphone it actually has unbalanced cable out when i'm using it into the daw straight in right now so you can also use it in the studio and we're going to learn all about this microphone but first if you're new to the channel i would like to beg you to like and subscribe this channel is kind of like five hours sleep you can survive on it, but don't expect to be good at math or sex. Celebrate mediocrity. Microphone demo videos consistently eat a big bag of dicks uh -huh. in terms of views. They just do. Nobody wants to watch them. How does this one sound? Now, how does this one sound? Better or worse? You're not the eye doctor. You're trying to listen to a microphone. So we have solved that problem. My buddy Adam, he's a drummer. He knows diddly squat doodly about guitars. Loser. But be that as it may, we're going on an actual guitar safari at Earl Teat Music in Del Mar. They got a location in Del Mar, Delaware, and one in Dover. And if you understand the United States, you know that Delaware has no sales tax. So it's my favorite place to shop. And we're going to get to that right away. But first, we're going to have to please our overlords and unbox this thing, tell you about the specs, and then we're going on a field trip. Mama got a squeeze box, dead and never sleeps at night. All right. Look at this. That's what the box looks like if you need a close-up shot. Smart enough to cover up my address. I know how you people are. <laughs> Stalkerish. Mentally ill. Emotionally unstable. Bipolar, you are all of those things. You know you want it, you know you're waiting for it. Oh, snap. This one has a soft case. What's in this pocket? Stuff, all righty. So you know when we got stuff, we got to look at it. Let's see what we get. We know that, we know who they are. This is another dead cat. Do you need to see it? No, you don't. Oh, man. I'm trying to make this fast for you all. You got your Velcro things here. Let's get her unzipped and see what is in here. Aha, this is the good stuff. This is the stuff we care about. Wow, that feels a lot thicker than I expected it to. That's what she said. It does not appear that batteries are included, but you, of course, get silica gel. Now the fun part. It's like Christmas, we get to go through all the stuff. You, of course, you saw this case. These two things, these are the transmitters for the microphones, the body packs. And of course, this one with two antennas, it is the receiver. Now, uh, let me show you something. Gag, gag. Double A batteries. The good part of that is they're easy to get. The bad part is if you're going out on a shoot, you know, and you have rechargeables, you charge them up right before you go, you know about how long they'll last, you know you're good to go. Batteries are not always easy to know how much you got left. Do you want to put fresh batteries in before every shoot? You do if you're a wedding photographer or something else like that, I bet you. Right here, you get basically for the hot shoe on your camera, a little adapter. This, I really like. This takes the audio output this guy right here, and it turns it into one of them three dingers. Of course, we got two dead cats, cue sound effect, and of course, two microphones with all required clips. Looks like they have some fairly long cables. I do like this little 
touch here with the Velcro. That really helps keep them neat. All right, we got this guy. Power this guy on. And we'll see if they pair. You might not be able to see it, but I'll tell you what happens. Group B, so it is locked. So pairing is as easy as that. If you are a YouTuber, some ass clown, and you don't have the budget for like a full-on Bravo Kardashian TV crew for your terrible little YouTube channel, it's gonna sound like this. But if you got this killer mic set from our friends at Comica, what, what? You can get quite a different experience. What we got in the pack is we got a transmitter for our boy Adam. Emphasis is mine. In the kit, of course, when you're a YouTuber and you're vain and old like me, you keep a little powder. <laughs> Want a little powder, brother? We could do a little powder. I powder up because my skin looks like I walked up, leaned in, lit a cigarette off Tower One on 9-11. Too soon? <laughs> Look, it's either too soon or never forget. Make up your mind. Well, you gotta play something because you're getting ready to go in here and find out which one you want. So, here's a this is how a father breaks his kids when they're when they're gear shopping. Exactly. That's exactly right. So I've always liked, I like that style. What Les Paul? You Les Paul yeah, guy? I do, I do like the Les Paul design. We can't yes. say that though because look, it's, the I shape know, has that, changed. That is no a, lawsuits. That's a lesser Paul. <laughs> so yeah. let's see. Less expensive Paul. Exactly. That's a freebie. But this is the music store experience, online. When you're here in the presence of this stuff, you ooh and ah, you see it. You can ooh and ah to stuff online, but it's not the same thing. Unless it's OnlyFans. That's oh. true. <laughs> OnlyFans is legit. That is legit. Or so I've heard. But, but if it's guitars, I mean, to a certain extent, but it's not the same as seeing them. Right. And the best thing about this, too, is I can't play. So, hey, but I know I. what I like. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. And I like this. According to my comment section, I can't play either. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what's interesting here is this guy is a drummer. He says he can't play, but he plays drums. So he looks at guitars and he kind of goes, <laughs> like a wife does <laughs> when she comes in the music. With an Ace Freely shirt on, too. Yes. But I dig yeah. it. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's awesome. He's false front. Right. That's a stolen valor. He's a drummer wearing a guitar playing shirt. It's true. Oh, oh, telegraph, oh, oh. Telecaster. And and even the weirdos have one. Right. There's at least one. Okay, there's two. There's two. Yep. There's three. Three. <laughs> For all you satanic lefties out there, oh. there's another one. Right. What is it? It's like the, it's like the creatures telly, of the night. The telly corner. Yeah. Which is very I love cool. it. You know, they even have, I like, I like the Dude. kiss displays as well. We're going to do a quick check. Yes. This man. He's, he's saying telly, 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 throwing around that word like he knows something, right? Can you tell me the different kinds of tellies? Now, I know you, even even Mrs. Geargasm's behind the camera there. She can't specifically tell you, but she knows, like, pickup differences. Drummer test. Yeah. What kind of pickup is this? A good one. And I can tell you the different kind of tellies. That's a black one. That's a brown one. That's a red one. Yeah. No, that's a humbucker. The okay. fat ones, the skinny ones are single coil. Did you know that? It's a noise thing. Yes. Oh, for crying out loud. And Mrs. Geargasm sadly does because she watches a lot of guitar content. Well, one of these kids is doing his own thing. So if you had one, which one would you pick up here? Like, which one would you like? Well, man, that color is scream. I love the 50s car colors. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and when I was young, I hated tellies because metal guys didn't do tellies at all. And then I just fell in love. And yeah, they are just so simple. Two knobs, two pickups, but that and that. Yeah. Again, 50s car colors. Yeah, you nailed it. God, I love that them. very cool. They had an amp here that, uh, Princeton, that yes. was almost that. It, that I was like, oh, a wong. <laughs> but I knew if I bought that, I would have to buy a matching guitar. That's true. And I would go full Instagram with my matching rig and all that. <laughs> so that's also what happens in a real music store is real merchandise being pulled off the shelves. This is the music store experience in its essence. We've got the young man with rock and roll dreams. He's overwhelmed by the choices, but he has expert help down the aisle. And Chris, it's all just first names on YouTube because there's whole kinds of weird stalkers out there. This is Chris. You don't need to know his last name. But Matthew, grab, the, grab your dream. Oh, yeah. It's a nice guitar. We'll get you all hooked up right here. 
Is it a tribute? Tribute. Is it a tribute? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep. Nice. I love shopping online, and I do it a lot, and it's necessary if, if the brands you're looking for aren't there, but you can't feel it on the internet. <laughs> Absolutely. That we we we. Earlier, I was shooting some B-roll, and I gave him exactly five seconds of bass because that's all anybody cares about is bass. You got five seconds. It's but drums. But Adam's a drummer, and I can't leave him in the video looking as hideously dumb as he did over by the guitars. So we're gonna let him speak on his expertise in the drums. Yeah, yeah. This that's is trying to guitar finish too, bro. Yes. That whole matte thing. I do like the black matted finish. It's got the two floor toms, which are awesome. She this is probably the piccolo tom. I like it. I'm sure I'm not calling it right back. This is where I get look stupid. The piccolo tom. <laughs> That's such a guitar player thing to say. The little tom. The little I have tom. A this is why I respect this man. He plays a Questlove set from behind plexiglass in his band. Dad jokes. That means he knows his place. I do. What a great drummer. Hey, the D.W. got started in Thousand Oaks, California, where I grew up. And there's a little girl named Paula, whose mom was the vice president there. So I still can't get a discount, though. So yeah, the Comica CVM WM100 Plus. How did it do? Man, if you are an on-the-go, run-and-gun, guerrilla-style YouTube content creator, it was a great system. It, it kept up with us. I did love the sturdy form factor of these. I like the, the portability. The case was super handy. Nice. You got to hear the difference between some garbage ghetto, unmiked straight into the iPhone camera audio and, and real professional audio in a real world situation. What did we learn today? We learned that Comica mics, this portable system can be used in a variety of situations. You can really step up your YouTube game with them. If you shoot things like weddings and other family events, maybe you shoot funerals and audio is super important. You can, you can mic the preacher with one of these and you can hang the other one in the casket just in case. Ooh, you suck. We also learned that Earl Teat in Del Mar, and they have also a Dover location, are very, very gracious hosts. You could see we didn't even really touch on all the inventory there. What a great place to shop. Tax-free. Did I mention that it was tax-free? And finally, we learned that if you're going to go guitar shopping with a buddy, and that buddy is a drummer, he might not be the best choice for that unless he has a cool guitar-playing son like Adam does. As always, I thank you for the time that you spend with the channel. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Tell some of your ratty ass Section 8 ghetto trailer park friends about Geargasms. They fit the demographic here mm, perfectly. You can buy a t-shirt if you want to help support the channel. I don't know why you would, but they come in a variety of sizes for a variety of people. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Marky Ramon about it because although he is the last Ramon standing, he has no idea that the others have died. Come on! That's because of the bangs. And the fentanyl. But play more guitar. Watch less YouTube. Keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.